Do you encourage or teach people to leave their families? Well, the only time I would encourage a person to leave their family was if the family was acting in a violent or unloving manner towards the person. And I would define an unloving manner as I've defined it in the talk that I gave about the gift of free will. And the way I've defined that is any action or words or expressions or manipulation that results in the family attempting to manipulate the free will of the individual. So the only time I would encourage a person to leave their family, and when I say encourage, it's probably not the word, right word, I would state to them that they would need to love themselves and leave their family. I wouldn't encourage them to. I wouldn't try to give them a carrot mm -hmm. to dangle in front of them to show them a reason to. All I would just say to them is, look, if your family is treating you badly, if they are attacking you, deriding you, being condescending to you, belittling you, and, and also becoming violent with you in their words or their actions, then that's the time to leave somebody. And if that's your family, then leave them. Or if that's your partner, then leave them. If that's work, then leave it. If that's a business, then leave that. If that's, you know, any, anything in society that does that is out of harmony with love. So leave it. Other than that, stay with the situation and work your way through what issues there are. I feel a lot of people run away from situations with family, friends, you know, work colleagues, you know, businesses and all those other things in life. They run away from them because they don't want to face something in their own selves emotionally that it brings up within them. And they then use the excuse that they're being attacked or whatever, when sometimes the people that are saying the truth of them are not attacking them, they're just saying the truth to them. Mm -hmm. So I would take care if a person was uh, considering leaving family, friends, relationships, businesses, whatever, work, place, environments, whatever, you would have to be very honest with yourself that you're not just resistive to hearing the truth or whether you are actually having the feeling of attack coming from you where the other person is getting angry, condescending, belittling of you. That's a different thing altogether. A person can tell you the truth without being condescending, without being belittling, without attacking, without you know yelling at you and verbally abusing you or punching you or, or doing worse violent things towards you. They can easily tell you the truth without all of those things. If they're, try, if they're saying to you that they're telling you the truth while they're doing all of those things, then that's the time to leave the situation because it's not loving to yourself.